Hello, welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a, a long time, I've got a lot of commitments, a lot of stuff I've been doing, but in this one we're going to do an aim offset. Uh, you'll remember in the last video we implemented aiming into the game, but the character did not have the ability to look up and down, and it looks pretty cheesy, so the character could look left and right when he was aiming, uh, but the character did not animate uh, up and down. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Uh, if you go into your anim starter pack, there's actually some animations already for doing aim offsets. Uh, you want to make a, a folder called aim space, and then inside of it you want to put the aim space hip and the aim space iron sights. And we'll probably be doing the iron sights one. So if you look at this animation, let me drag this in here. If you look at this animation, this is basically an animation with a bunch of poses compressed into it. So you can see this one is looking forward, this one is looking up, down, and yeah, you get the point. Now I'm not really uh, worried about looking left and right, I only care about these first ones, the up and down ones. We're just going to be making what's called an aim offset 1D, so there's 1D and uh, 2D ones as well. So what we'll do is, uh, if you click on the aim space iron sights, I'm going to hit Control w to duplicate it, and I'm going to call this iron sights forward. And you want to duplicate this again, we're going to make iron sights up and iron sights down. So what we need is we need uh, three different assets. One where he's uh, looking down, one where he's looking up, and one where he's looking straight ahead. And the aim offset will interpolate between these values depending on where we're looking with our gun. So we will, uh, if you select them all, there's something we need to do. Now, we could open up these one by one and change some things, uh, but there's actually a nicer way to do it, which is to select them all. And then if you right click, you can go Asset Actions and Bulk Edit. And you get access to all of these uh, things on the side here. So uh, the one we're interested in is additive settings because the aim offsets uh, kind of additive in a way. Uh, so under here we're going to go to I believe it's I want to say it's mesh space, and then selected animation frame, and now we need a base pose animation. This is like the base uh, pose that we're deviating from with our aim offset. So if you uh, click on this pick asset thing here. We're looking for, if you just type iron sights, I believe it's idle rifle iron sights that we want. And so you can go save all, close that, and now these are ready to be put into our aim offset. So what you do now is you just simply go to animation, aim offset 1D, click on your mannequin skeleton, and we're going to call this aim offset underscore and I'm going to call it pitch because um, pitch refers to the rotation of up and down, uh, which is the uh, <laughs> that's like the rotation my character is doing. So we'll open that up. We need a name for this uh, value. I'm just going to call this pitch. The minimum axis is negative 90 degrees, meaning we're looking straight down, and then 90 degrees, meaning we're looking straight up. In the middle, we want iron sights forward. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I need to do one more thing. We need to basically trim these animations. Uh, we'll start off with iron sights down. So what you do is you go to frame number 20, just drag the slider there, and then you can right click and remove from frame 0 to 20, and then you want to do remove from 1 to 68 or whatever it says. And now you just have this animation where he's uh, looking down. So you want to do this for all of them. So do that for down, uh, for forward, it's just that, so you can just go remove. And up is just the same thing, it's on uh, 10. So you can just right click, remove, and remove, and save. Okay, we'll go back into our aim offset. So in the middle we have iron sights forward, here we're going to have iron sights down, and here we're going to have iron sights up. So if you click on this little area here and you hold shift, you can see that our aim offset is working, our character will move. Uh, you can see that the character's hand kind of uh, deviates away from the gun towards the this little part here. You could probably fix this by changing the socket, to be honest, but I'm not overly worried. So at this point, we have an aim offset that we can use. Uh, I'm going to go into my UE4 mannequin. If we go to the anim starter pack, here it is here, the animation blueprint. Okay, so I'm going to set up... Oh, I already have it. Um, yeah, this is what you need to do to feed into your aim offset. So I'll show you. We're going to make a variable here called aim pitch. And under variable type, just make this float. 
And so what I've done here, um, I actually did this before I started the video, but you can just uh, follow along. You want to type get control rotation. This is going to get the rotation of my camera basically. And then we're taking the pitch value, so you can just pull out, break the rotator, and then normalize the axis. The problem is, is that with rotations, a rotation will go 3 degrees, 2 degrees, 1 degrees, and then it jumps to 360 degrees, 359 degrees, and so on. And this is a really difficult value to deal with with animations, because uh, we want a, a normal value that we can plug in, if that makes sense. Um, because if it's 0 and then it jumps to 360, we can't use that with our aim offset. So what we do is we normalize the axis of pitch, and so this clamps the angle to negative 180 and 180. And so we don't have this issue anymore. Uh, and so anyways, you can just feed this in. If you hold Alt on your keyboard, drag that out, plug that in there like that, that will set the value of aim pitch. And so you can compile and save that. Um, and at this point, we need to tell it to use our aiming. So uh, if you double click on idle, right now we have this. The only thing we're going to do differently is we're going to get rid of this idle rifle iron sights. So we'll get rid of that and if we type aim offset we want the aim offset pitch the base pose is going to be idle rifle iron sights and then the well, you might even be able to leave that empty I'm actually not 100% sure uh, and then you want to plug the pitch into there like that alright let's try it out I'm gonna hit play if I aim down my sights if I look left and right you can see that wasn't the problem that's working fine but now what's going to happen is if I look down, notice that my character is actually pointing his weapon at the ground now, and he's pointing his weapon up in the air when I look up as well. It's a really nice look for your game. It looks terrible if I'm looking up in the air, but my character's still looking forward. It looks completely fake and unrealistic. And uh, any game with like good animation will have this figured out. So aim offsets are definitely something that is nice to implement. Okay, sorry, there's one more thing we need to do, and uh, it's my bad. I just didn't realize that something we did wasn't actually replicated over on the NMBP side. Um, the the clients will see the aim offset, but the server can't see it, so it's not actually replicating properly. So to make it replicate properly, what we're going to do is open up third person character, the blueprint, and we're going to make a function, just add it like that, and we'll call it get uh, pitch rotation. And it's going to return one output, a float, and this is going to be pitch. So the way to have this be replicated is um, there's only one function that actually returns a proper replicated value, which is a little bit weird, but um, it's get base aim rotation. This is replicated. The server will be able to use this to um, get <clears throat> a pawn's aim rotation, which is nice. So what you can do now is break this apart and just feed the pitch into here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually normalize it as well. You remember we used the normalize function, so I'm just gonna use that, and that's all you need to do. And what you do now is over on the NMBP side, you can simply just drag out from the character, get aim, whoops, what did I call it? Get pitch rotation, drag out, get pitch rotation, and this can be pure as well, so if you click on this, uh, check the box that says pure, and it will get rid of these white arrows. And so now you can just plug that into aim pitch. So what we can do now is if you hit, if we hit play, previously that was not replicating, but now it should be, so um, we'll take a look here. Yep, so you can see that the other character can see the... Uh, the aim offset, and you can see that the server can see it as well. So that is how to do that. Uh, I know it's been a short video, but I did want to get something out. I didn't want to, you know, uh, go a month without a video or whatever. Uh, I will try to make more. I'm sorry for the delays, but uh, let me know what you want to do next time. Whether you want to do ammo, or I don't know if we've done shooting yet. I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, uh, leave some suggestions below, and I'll cover it in the next video. And I'll see you guys later.